Okie dokie. Our first guest tonight, Kim Basinger. Oh, a beautiful woman and uh, has won an Academy Award and has a, a brand new film, which I, I saw this afternoon. I'm proud to say, ladies and gentlemen, it's a fine, uh -huh. fine motion oh, picture. Oh, great. It's, uh, it's called I Dreamed of Africa. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's like a, a travelogue of Africa. That's great. It'd be a beautiful film, yeah. A fascinating, a true, based on a true story. Is that, yeah. is that true? A woman wrote a book and, and they made the movie. That's right. Lovely. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen, the lovely, the charming Kim Basinger. Kim? You look lovely, and thank you for uh, taking time out of your busy schedule to be here. And, I, and if you don't mind, I want to hear all about uh, the Academy Award. It, take us through the process, because I know you're probably nervous and excited, and you probably don't think you're going to win. So tell, tell us the whole thing. It must have been great. Was it great? Okay. <laughs> my, my fanny's shaking. Whoa! Um, okay. You get, an, uh, get an Academy Award for that, I'll tell uh, you. Hello. <laughs> It was the most surrealistic moment you could ever imagine, sitting there and, um, and having your name called, but knowing it was not your name. So, oh, you're, so, so you hear your name, but it doesn't register it's that it's not your it's name. You. Yeah, yeah. So your seat, your seat gets hot, and then it gets hotter. <laughs> Like you've pressed a button in that, in that right. like in our Tahoe, <laughs> yeah, it has a, you know, thing. The seat warmers, yep. And then I was just totally stuck to the chair. <laughs> and, and my husband, you know, everything went silent. And you could just hear mouths and... And that's all you saw, people going... And all of a sudden, my husband looked at me, who was sitting to my left, and he went, get up. <laughs> And I thought, and then in my mind, race back to, if I get up, I'm going to look like a fool. You know, you get up thinking, it's not you. That's right. <laughs> yeah, it's not That's you. Right. So Someone he's trying to trick won, me. But you he's trying to trick right. me. So, you know, it was just so surrealistic. And finally, I got up, and I have no idea how I made it to the stage, on the stage, off the stage. And then I found myself with my dress, holding one hand holding my dress, and the other one, I happened to just peer down and see the Oscar in my hand. And I thought I stole it from the bathroom. I mean, I, I, I swear, I looked at it and said, oh, my God, what have I done? And it's, just, it's just a moment you go through. It's so you, you know, it, 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 this is a very cute story, but it's a little sad because, for heaven's sake, you deserve the award, you know? I well, mean, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's not like they had one left over. Ah, oh, give, <laughs> give one to Kim. Um, how, how's your uh, springtime been? Any fun activities? Well, um, that's the Easter question. Okay. Um, we had an Easter egg hunt. That's good. You and the family? You guys have an Easter egg hunt? Sure. Um, Alec Baldwin. Alec and a couple uh, and their three kids uh, decided we would have an indoor Easter egg hunt because um, it was raining. Mm -hmm. So on Saturday, prior to Easter, the, my friend, she offered to cook the eggs. So she let her housekeeper cook the eggs. The, the eggs have to be hard-boiled, and then you they color them. Yeah. Brightly colored yeah, eggs. Yeah, hard-boiled sure. eggs. So they brought them over, and, and the kids painted the eggs. They painted the eggs on Saturday, and nothing really went wrong. But then Alec and, um, and our friend, they hid the eggs throughout our house. And there were 48 of them. And the uh. little girls took their baskets, and they started hunting the eggs. And the more eggs that piled up in the basket, they were throwing them in the basket. And all of a sudden, you know, Ireland came to me, my daughter, and she said, Mom, look at I've got so many. And I said, why is your basket so wet and drippy? <laughs> and I said, all of a sudden, it just hit me. I went, oh, my God, stop, stop the hunt. Stop the hunt. It's salmonella. Salmonella. Salmonella, salmonella. Exactly. That's right. So the lady had not cooked the eggs Yeah, she poached all. them. She didn't hard boil them. She poached them. <laughs> poached them. <laughs> so that's our Easter. <laughs> And, and two eggs, we found them. I made Alec. I said, Alec, search this house. I right. said, you know, they're going to stink or whatever, and we still haven't found two. <laughs> two of the eggs are still lost. Oh, yeah, you've quite yeah. a summer ahead of you, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Long about July. Oh, my God. 
You have uh, you, you have a lot of animals out there. Um, yeah, I have uh, uh, one Pekingese left and uh, six Shih Tzus. Wow! So you have a total of just six dogs now. Yeah, now, yeah, yeah. I used to have any 15. any other than, other than dogs. You have birds, kitties, any other. I have um, two bunnies and some neon tetras. Those are fish, right? Yes. Or is that the new Dodge? <laughs> <laughs> And what are, what are the, uh, the names of the dogs? Um, who's left? Bebop and Dodo, Boo and, Boo and Chubsy, and um, Hussy and Nuna. Are, are you sure that's not the names of the Baldwin brothers? <laughs> a cheap joke. It's a cheap joke. Hey, uh, when we come back, we'll talk about uh, this uh, I Dreamed of Africa movie. And you, you were there. How long did it take you to make the film? We were out of the country six months, but it was about four, four and a half months. In the movie. Beautiful. The, the movie is beautiful, but I'll bet it's difficult, isn't it, doing a film in Africa like that? Oh. Out in the wild? Beyond, yeah. and especially to take your two-and-a-half-year-old into the bush. Yeah. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, we'll continue here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Them, not you. You should be ashamed of yourselves. <laughs> we'll be right back with Kim Basinger, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, now we have some old oh, we have some old footage of you in a, a television commercial. Do you mind if we show that? You can say no and we won't show it. It's okay. Do you mind showing it? Sure. You know what, what it is? is? You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. It's, I did, it's did like an airlines, that. National right. Airlines. Yeah. They, how, oh you, we, boy. You're just beginning, I guess. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh God. <laughs> National oh, Airlines, oh they're, not, they're not in business anymore, are they? No, yeah. they are not. Yeah. And uh, do you, you're playing a flight attendant in the film? In the, yeah, in in the, the commercial. In the commercial, rather, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, how embarrassing. Well, we don't have to show No, it's okay. I, I, just, you know, I, I don't know where you got your hands on this thing, because mm -hmm. I... Guy on the street. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's, uh, okay, it's you, and you're a kid this, in this. This cool, yeah. It was probably when I first came to New York as a model. Yeah. Right. One right. of the first commercials I ever did. But, you know, a, a lot of people do this. Nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah. Uh, I just don't remember this, really. All right, well, let's take a look together. Well, this is just like a walk down memory lane. I'm Joe Franklin uh, tonight. Uh, just okay. think of me as... Okay, you got it. You got it. All right, here we go. Take a look. This is uh, Kim Basinger playing a flight attendant for National Airlines. What? Oh, Thank you. Ah! I'd like you to meet Barbara. That looks, ah! that looks nothing She's like you. She's one of our luxurious new DC-10s. This year's airplane. Come on and fly. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, turn it off! <laughs> I can't. I don't want to. <laughs> Whoa! But what, what is that? You were fine, but what was going on there? I don't know. I didn't see it. They had a DC-10 named Barbara. What was? <laughs> what was that all about? I, I think they. Kn no, the thing used to be is, uh, hi, I'm whoever. They right. name planes after women. Uh -huh. And then they'd say, hi, I'm so-and-so. Um, come on and fly me. That's right. I remember that, yeah. Or something. <laughs> whatever. It was, it was not entirely well-received, I don't think, that campaign. No, it had nothing to do with you. No, you no, were fun. I, 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 I yeah, don't know. No, you, you've been exonerated. It was a cute, cute song. <laughs> cute song. Uh, so anyway, you move the entire family, uh, you and your husband and your daughter, you go to uh, South Africa, is that where you made the South movie? Africa is actually where we filmed. The story takes place in, in Kenya. Kenya. But it, they actually filmed in Kenya as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. well. What was that like? You got to your husband, uh, and he was there for six months the whole time, Alec? He was there. Uh, how did that go? He learned to email in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you'd stop saying that. Oh, I don't know. Oh, guys. 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 
It's just silly. Okay, um, I'll tell you, it, it, it's really difficult to take a two and a half year old into the bush. Is it dangerous? Oh, God! <laughs> because, yes, everywhere you look, there, you know. The, Going, not going the way we'd hope. We had to, um, everywhere you look, um, puff adders are as common as Those are snakes, retreat, right? Right. right. As common. Are, they de are they deadly? The, the they're, they're deadly. I know Puff Daddy is pretty nasty, but I didn't know about <laughs> Puff Adder. But, uh, uh, they are the fastest striking and the slowest moving snake, and they kill more Africans than you know. Is that right? Are, are they a large snake? They're pretty large, as far as I'm concerned. Well, now, uh, uh, and, and and we fought everything from you know tick fever to little green frogs that would ooze white stuff and and just go. Ooh. Did did, did that dampen the enthusiasm or the spirit of making the film? <laughs> Honestly, I mean, because a after a while you would think, my gosh, where where are we here? We're trying to make this movie, and, and it really is uh, scary. No, no. You know what? I, I tell you, after two and a half months, I really got it. I, a Africa really does have an, a different kind of rhythm. It is, it's just a magical, mystical, spiritual, educational place to go. And it's, it's, it's an amazing, amazing place. And the film is a, a true story. It's a, it's a woman's autobiography, is that right? Basically, yes. Yeah. Then did you meet the woman who wrote the, the, the book? I chose not to before I did it because she, before I actually did the film because I, I, I just loved her book so much and it was such a fabulous diary that she just spoke through me through the book, you know, spoke to me through the book, and it helped me tremendously uh, guide me through doing the role. And then I met her. Then I met her in a, in a hotel room yeah. here in, in New York. She must be a very, very strong, forceful presence, this woman. Oh, beyond. Yeah. yeah. Let's take a look at a uh, bit of the movie here. Uh, you know what we're going to see, Kim? Um, something I, with something ticks, I hope. <laughs> gosh, gosh, I hope it's something in the bush. <laughs> This is the garden scene where I'm trying to get an elephant, well, an elephant away from actually, my, that, my that, garden. It's a beautiful film. Take a look, ladies and gentlemen. I dreamed of Africa. Get out of my garden! Get out! Be careful! Get out of my garden! Move! Move! Clear up! Clear up! Go! Go! Move! Move! Get the hell away! You maniac! You're insane! Tomorrow. A different rhythm. No. Say it. A different rhythm. No. <laughs> no. I chased away an elephant. Yes. A big elephant. You did. <laughs> Kim Basinger, ladies and gentlemen. I dreamed of Africa. Opens on Friday. A lovely film. You're a lovely woman. Thank you so much. You're my best, Alec. Thank you very much for being here. We'll be right back with Oasis, ladies and gentlemen.